This is Eugene Panrutkovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Acer Aspire V5 laptop computer, and we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Acer Aspire V5 laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we need to remove all sources of power and that includes the battery. And in order to do that, we flip the laptop over to remove the battery. Uh, to remove the battery on this laptop, there's a lever that you need to slide to the left and you need a pen or a screwdriver or something to reach into the lever to engage it. So we use a screwdriver, slide the lever to the left, and slide the battery out. Once the battery is out, the laptop is safe to work on. Now also, while we're on the bottom, I'll show you how to find the part model number for this laptop. There's the black label with a bunch of label with a bunch of symbols. And right above the symbols it says Acer Aspire V5-571 series. We just care about the V5. Okay. Now that the battery is removed and hopefully the camera will focus again. We will flip the laptop over and go on to the next step. Now, for um, for this laptop or most other laptops, you need to remove the screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen, to get to the screen assembly. For uh, most laptops, there are screws securing the screen bezel. But this one just snaps off, and we'll get to that in just a moment. But first, I'm going to go over the tools that we're going to need. Uh, first, the one the tool that we're going to use the most is the PH1 screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 stands for the size. We have a smaller PH00 screwdriver to get to smaller screws. We have a 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver, and that's to um, help pry away any parts. This will come in useful for the bezel. We have a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck. And we typically use an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife to open up screw covers that are on the screen bezel, but in this case, we will not be using this one. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is snap off the screen bezel. This one doesn't have any screws, so we just snap it off. And what I like to do for this is put my fingertips on the screen side, and either with my fingertips or fingernails, gently start prying up the screen bezel and listen for the snapping sounds. And I'll work your way around the screen. If you get stuck at a place, uh, move on to a different place and come back to that place later. Also, if you get stuck at a place, try pulling it out upward and out a little bit. That sometimes gets it unstuck. So we keep going around on the bottom also, like so. And for the hinge covers, that's part of the bezel, we use our flathead screwdriver to reach in under the hinge covers a little bit and open it up. If one side doesn't work, we'll try on the other side. And what I did was I reached in and then lifted up the screwdriver until the the hinge cover snapped off. So what I'm going to do is the same thing, like so. Reach in and lift up so it snaps off. And we're going to take it out now. One, and we use our screwdriver to help us a little bit, and two, and the screen bezel is off. So take your time on this step. You can see I got a little bit nervous on this step. Don't do this like me. Take your time, and it'll come off eventually. Okay, so now that the screen assembly is exposed, um, for this type of screen, it's called a slim screen. The, it's mounted with some mounting tabs on top and bottom. So it's mounted with four screws that we have to remove. There's two screws on top 
and two screws on the bottom. So we use our uh, PH1 screwdriver to remove the screws on top first. And when you do this, make sure that the screen is tilted back a little bit so when you remove all the screws, it doesn't fall forward on you. Like so. One, two, three. And four. Like so. Once we do that, we gently start tilting the screen forward toward us and see if it's getting stuck on anything. And it looks like it's getting stuck on something here. And we try to find out what's the matter, why it's getting stuck there. Looks like it's some adhesive, so gently pull it towards you. And you see, this is actually a manufacturing defect. This adhesive is actually supposed to be like that. So it's supposed to be covering the screw openings, not attached to the screen. So be careful with something like that. And when we pull it back, we see right away that the webcam cable and the webcam circuit came along with it. So we gently lift up the webcam cable, like so, and keep going, and put the screen down. Now you see that the webcam circuit came off the mount. That's no big deal. Just snap it back on again like so and we'll take a look at the screen this is a 15.6 inch led slim screen and it's got one connector on the bottom and the video cable is attached to the back of the screen with some adhesive so we slowly lift up the video cable to remove the adhesive like so and then we slowly remove the adhesive tape on top of the connector that's covering the connector being careful not to damage anything like so and once the adhesive is tape is removed we can slowly using both our hands grabbing it with the fingertips just exactly like him slowly pull the connector back and it's out okay so the screen is released from the connector now before we go any further i'm going to show you how to reconnect it you slowly slide it in and you hear but not feel two clicks in there so let's get a close-up of what a properly connected connection should look like There we go. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be perfectly flush with each other. So pause the video right there and make sure your connection looks like that when you reconnect the screen. This is the biggest source of problems I see when people try to do this or people do this at home. Okay, so once again, we slide the cable out and we take a look at this screen this is a 15.6 inch led slim screen and it focused again and the uh, part number that you're looking for let's see if we can we can do this we'll focus on the part number see if we'll focus Okay, let's try and help it. The camera doesn't want to cooperate with me today. There we go. B156XW04. The part number that you're looking for is B156XW04. Okay, so you can do your search, and most likely when you receive the screen, the part number will not match exactly, but the screen connector and the screen mounting tabs should look exactly the same. 
Now, you can also buy this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons. And what we offer is a two-year warranty on the screen, free email technical support on the screen. The toolkit that you see here comes free with this screen. We'll ship it with the screen. And if you live outside the United States, you can order from us. We ship to most countries around the world. To order from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. And there will be two choices for you. You can either send, fill out a short form, and we'll send you email back with the link to buy the right screen. Or you can do a search for in our catalog for uh, Acer Aspire V5, and the right result will pop up. And you can go directly and buy the screen from us. Okay, uh, once you do get your screen in, it's pretty simple. Just slide the connector in like I showed you. Mount the screen then. Put the four mounting screws on two on top and two on bottom. Snap the bezel on and that's it. And make sure that the camera is mounted properly. And that's it. Uh, once again, my name is Eugene Panrudkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.